Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Engine programming series where we write a game engine from scratch. Today we are going to write a test program for the Windows system and platform implementation which we have been doing in the last two videos. So we can finally see the windows open and also we are going to handle updating of the client area rectangle when the window is resized or maximized. In the engine test project, I'm going to add a new header file for our window test. Again, like we did here for the entity component test, we need to include this test header. And of course, inherit from this test class and write our test. I'm going to create four windows here. So I'm going to have an array of four windows. So we need to implement this abstract class. So it has initialize, run, and shutdown methods that we need to override and implement. For initialize, we are going to just open four windows. Now remember that we made this create window in a way that we can just call it without any parameters because now we are completely platform independent. So there is no Windows platform here present right now. And yet we can open Windows. So that's nice, right? I'm going to include the thread header in this test so we can use it in all tests. Now, if you would run this test program, then we would get four windows. That's if everything is done properly, of course. Now we are getting the entity component test. I forgot to enable the new test that we just wrote. So let's do that here in main. We need to define another constant here and set it to one. Here get last error returns a non-zero value because remember I told you that this register class X will fail if we try to register the same class multiple times. And that happened and it set the last error basically. So we have to clear it here before we do these operations. So we can check again for get last error after this register class failed. So 
So here basically we reset the last error state and we want to check if anything here goes wrong. And if that doesn't happen, then everything is good and then we can proceed. And of course, one more thing that we need to do before being able to run this test is to actually replace this main function with a win main function. Otherwise, we don't have a message pump here that will send messages to our window procedure. So I'm going to just copy paste from the main function of the game engine that we have here and then replace this engine initialize and update and shutdown with our test initialize update and shutdown. Okay, so if we are in a Windows operating system, then we can use this winmain function and otherwise it will use the old main function that we already had. I need to replace these functions now. And of course, we need to retarget this test application to Windows platform. Otherwise, it will still target a console application. Here in all options, we can choose a Windows application. And we should do this for all configurations, of course. There you go. Now, if we would run this application, hopefully it will work. It's opening the windows on my second monitor, but they are here. Also, if I close all of these windows, you will see that the application keeps running. So we need to make something that closes the application when we close all windows. Now going back to platform.cpp, we can update this callback method to handle change in size. And when we maximize or restore a window, we should handle all those cases. So while we are moving, we don't want to update these fields. We just want to update them when we are done moving. And that's what the exit size and move is for. So here there are more conditions that lead to updating of those dimensions. So what we do is just set a pointer to this window and then handle this update afterwards. So if this info pointer is not null, then we can check for the updates. If something happened to size or the position of the window, we come here and then ask for the client rectangle. And if we are in the full screen mode, we update the full screen area and otherwise we update the client area, which is used in a normal mode. Unfortunately, when we maximize the window, there is no exit size move message sent. So for that case, we need to handle another message. 
this WM size is sent whenever the window is resized, but we don't want to constantly update these fields. So we have to look at this W param that contains more information for us. So when this size message is sent, because we maximize the window, then this W param will contain this constant. And we can check if that's the case. And if so, then we have to update the client rectangle area as well. And one more case that we need to handle is when we restore the window from its maximized state to a normal state. In that case, there is also none of these messages sent. So we need to handle yet another message. And when we want to handle this one, we also have to look at the W param to see what happened. And one of the cases that this message is sent is when we restore the window. And that's all we have to look at. And otherwise we just break. Okay, so now if I would set a breakpoint here, for example, in each one of these, when I move, nothing happens, but when I let go, then we come in exit size move. And then if I step through, we see that this client area rectangle is updated. And the same happens when we resize the window. There is nothing happening, and if I let go again, we come in exit size and move. If I maximize the window, we come in maximize, that's good. And when I restore from maximized state, then this happens, which is also what I intended. And now I can close the windows. So now I close all windows, but the application is still running. So we need to handle that case as well. And the way I want to take on that problem is not to handle that case here in the implementation of the windows, but to give that responsibility rather to the user of this implementation. So that means that we need to go in test window and then handle that case here. So the user of this system will determine when the application should end. Maybe the application is supposed to stay running while on Windows closed, right? So we will handle that case here. And for that, we need to know more about the platform that we are on. So we need to now include that platform types header. And this way we can now define Windows init information structures here. Because we want to handle the case where Windows close, we need to make our own window procedure and give the pointer to that function in this information structure. So here we need to write a function. Now we need to handle the case where the window destroy message is sent.
So when we receive a WM destroy message, we just simply loop through all the windows that we have and check if one of them is still open. And if that's the case, we need to keep the application running. And otherwise, if all windows have been closed, then we do a post quit message, which will make the application quit. And then we can go ahead and fill this in further. Here we will make a window that's on the position 100 and 100, and it's 400 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'll just copy paste this a couple of times and change these values. So I forgot to actually give this information to the create window. So let's close this and do it like this. And now we have these windows here. And if I would close them all, then we should also close the application. That works. And the last thing I would like to do here in this test application is to test full screen state of the windows. So I would like to go to full screen whenever I press Alt Enter. Okay, here we have this system character, and that is a message that we receive if any key is pressed on a keyboard. And if the return key or the enter key is pressed, then the W param will be equal to this constant. And if this is not zero, that means that alt button was down and therefore alt enter was down. And when that happens, we get the ID of this window like we did before and we construct our own window instance here and that we can use to go full screen or go back from full screen basically. So if now I take one of these windows and press Alt Enter, then we will go full screen. And if I press Alt Enter again, we go back to normal size. And you can see that the position and size of the window is also remembered. If I make it smaller and put it here somewhere and I go full screen and back again, then it appears at the same position, which is good. That's it for today. Next time we are going to open a main window when we start the game application. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you join me on Patreon, you'll get access to the code on GitHub so you don't have to type everything over from the video. Plus there are also other nice goodies and rewards exclusive to my Patreon supporters. Please use the link in the video description to check them out. I hope to see you next time, until then take care and happy game engineering!